everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, I am starting off this video in another hotel. I'm actually in Lincoln right now, and I'm here for a fishing trip. So, it's just me on this video. Chelsea's back home right now. Uh, the reason I'm staying in a hotel is because I wanted to hit the water early in the morning, and I would have to leave at like 4 in the morning if um, I were to get up here by sunrise. So, I found a Holiday Inn Express right in the middle of Lincoln. So I'm gonna stay here for the night, and then in the morning I'm meeting up with Lee, who is somebody that was on a previous fishing video that we had when we were doing carp fishing. So he and I have been talking back and forth for a while, trying to do something with pike, and uh, we came up with this idea of doing a US versus UK angler fishing tournament here. Just a fun reason to get out in the water and have some friendly competition here. So uh, the object of this tournament that we're doing is trying to do some lure fishing. And right now it's a tough part of the season for lure fishing. So these pike are eating what's called dead bait. And it's just rigs that they have that they throw out and you just sit on the bottom. They kind of cruise the riverbank here and uh, sift through this stuff, pick it up and run with it. So um, what I'm gonna do in the morning is I'm actually gonna get started right at sunrise and I'm gonna try and see if I can get a topwater bite. So I've got some frogs with me, I've got some whopper ploppers, just some other topwater stuff. And I'm gonna see if I can get a reaction bite from them as they're kind of hunting in the morning. And then Lee is gonna drop off his son at school and then meet up with me. And then we're gonna kind of walk the bank together and uh, just see um, you know, kind of what we can get into. So the object of this tournament that we've got is obviously uh, either the most or the biggest fish. We're still working out the details here, but um, again, just a good excuse to get out here. I haven't fished in forever, I feel like, so it was really neat to be able to uh, pack up the car and head up here. So thank you to Chelsea to giving me this opportunity. Um, it was just something I think she knew that I needed a fishing trip. Um, and it just worked out to be able to drive up here, spend the night, and then fish all day Monday. I'm excited. This is like one of the first times I've been able to pack up the car, head to a different city I've never been to, and try and fish it. Um, so I'm glad I got my own personal tour guide and Lee here, and it's just always a good time hanging out with them. So uh, really looking forward to that, but I'll give you guys a quick room tour here and kind of show you what the Holiday Inn Express at Lincoln offers. All right guys, so this is the room layout. I'm really liking this LED light that they've got. It kind of gives off a blue hue. I don't know if you can really see it on uh, there, but they've got a hair dryer set up. Chelsea would appreciate that. And then uh, right in here, the bathroom, you got sink. The shower looks pretty decent. And then you got the toilet behind the door here. Not too bad. And then ironing board. I'm pretty sure this door is for like a family room. So it's like, to the other uh, guest room on the other side. So if you had both rooms, you could open it up and then have that. And then a uh, double bed, not bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. And then uh, they've got this comfy couch. I haven't actually looked at this. I don't know if this is a pullout couch. Yep, it is. So you got another bed there, sleeper bed. And then the view here is of the parking lot. So nothing super fancy there. But I didn't realize that we're on a college campus. And then uh, just a little desk space here, TV. Not bad. This is a good space too. I feel like we got a lot of room in here. Definitely something that I think we'll come back to because I really want to check out the cathedral. I just don't know if I'm going to get to it on this trip. So I'll bring Chelsea back and then we'll get up there. It looked like it was way up on a hill. So it was neat to kind of see an area like a city again, like Edinburgh, where we just were, where uh, you've got some terrain to it. Uh, it looked like Ely in the sense of like just the town surrounding the cathedral. Um, but Ely definitely doesn't have that elevation that's right there. So it was cool But I'm gonna try and uh, get some rest here because I got an early morning tomorrow grab some breakfast I'll pick you guys up as I'm hitting the road and then I think I'm doing like a just park thing So I'm gonna park in someone's driveway that they offered up on this service here And uh, we had a co-worker kind of tell us about this and it's really helped us We did this in Edinburgh to find that parking lot So I'm gonna park in their driveway and then pack up the little wagon I've got and then uh, just hit the bank. So I'm excited. Hopefully tomorrow we get in some good fish. Any day out on the water, we always say, and you know where you're fishing is just um, definitely better than working in the office. So stay tuned. <clears throat> hey, good morning, guys. So it's the next morning right now, and it's just after seven. I'm packing out of the hotel here, getting everything together, and then gonna load up the Jeep. I'm gonna go find that parking spot that I was talking about that I found yesterday and then uh, just kind of get all my gear ready. So I'll pick you guys back up again as soon as I can get that GoPro mount ready to go and uh, let's get on the water. All right guys, I got you on the chest mount now. Got the Jeep all cleared out and everything is in the cart here. 
Uh, I'm just kind of piling it in and I'm gonna organize a little bit better once I get out. But this is the parking spot, just in like a little cul-de-sac and then got the water right out over there. So I'm just gonna hit the bank there and then work my way to the right up to uh, the golf course. But let's get going. I'm in a sweet spot. I'm feeling good. The sun is shining. I knew it would. The world's a playground. I'm in the clouds. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. So these are the concrete swims that uh, Lee was telling me about. So you got different pegs all the way down. I'm gonna keep going because what I'm looking for is more of like a um, like a grassy shoreline or some brush. And then I can use the frog that I've got and kind of work through that. So I might come back to these later, but with the boats on the other side, it's just not ideal for what I'm looking for right now. Hey guys. The river eye fish, uh, I think there's a nest near one of the pegs and these uh, swans will come up and start harassing you. So I've learned to kind of move out of the area, give them their space. All right, I found this tree across the bank. I want to give a shot. To start, I'm going to be using this little frog and it's got, uh, it's like a popper frog. So it's got, um, oh, well, you can see a little scooped out mouth there but I'm just gonna be seeing if I can work it along the uh, bank here the idea with this one is it just disturbs a lot of water um, and that's what I'm going for is trying to get something that's angry and cruising over the top of it it's just gonna explode I'm trying to find some more cover get in by like the trees I was talking about and there might be some more over by where Lee's talking about there's another drain uh, another part of water that comes into this river here and uh, that's where he was setting up yesterday but I don't know also finally got my baitcaster reel in action here and I got a rod that was uh, from a local tackle shop so dad if you're watching this thanks so much for mailing this uh, this is in Alabama on a reel that I had and I wanted something different other than the spinning reel. So it's a good setup. It works well with this frog, just light tackle. I'm gonna to switch to the spinning reel for when I'm using the swim baits and uh, a little bit bigger stuff. This area is looking a little bit better. So this is what I wanted. I wanted some grass on the other bank and I'm gonna try and throw the frog in between that. You can see behind me, I got the sun coming up just over the tree there. So I'm gonna keep going with top water and then we'll switch over to uh, more swim jig, that kind of stuff. But um, it's beautiful. It's really pretty out here. You get that other spillway is what I was trying to talk about before. This is that spillway that Lee was saying and uh, just kind of dumps into this main river and then uh, continues on. But I'm gonna work this grassy line here, just kind of pull the cart on this path and see if we can't wake something up in the middle of the weed bed there. It's a much better bank than the one I've got near my house, just with the slope of it. Oop, there we go. Start off in the tree. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it's a lot more accessible here. And uh, the other one, it's such a steep bank, so it makes it a little bit harder to get your gear down and you're kind of walking up and then walking across, so. He's hungry for some frog this morning. Just looking too good to cruise something right along the bank here with that sun coming up. Not seeing as much activity too as I was hoping for for a topwater bite. I know the water temps are still pretty cold. We'll get there this year, but I don't know. All right, so this is the same swim bait that I've caught pike on before. It's got that orange paddle tail, uh, 15 ground, gram lead weight there. And I'm just gonna throw along the shoreline here, just kind of get an idea of what the bottom's like here. Figure out if it's super muddy, We've got some uh, grass down there, or what's going on? Just looking for a nice, slow retrieve. 
again trying to cruise in front of something that sees this as an easy meal. All right, switching back to another top water again. This thing's a little bit more aggressive. Get two treble hooks on there. It's called a whopper plopper. And we use this for bass all the time in Alabama uh, with my parents. It's a lot of fun down there. So see if uh, this will disturb anything. I really like it because it doesn't take much. The fish just has to like side swipe it really. And uh, you'll get a hook in the lip there. I really like how much water it kicks up again, just making a lot of noise and agitating the area. I've seen a lot of ducks so far this morning too, and I'm sure these pike love to eat little ducklings, and it's kind of what this could represent too, is just something scurrying across the water. Sun is definitely up now. It's a lot more active on this trail too. A lot of people running around walking their dogs. I'd love to live in an area like this where I can just walk down to the water. Okay, so so far nothing, but it is about 9.30 and Lee is here. So I'm gonna go meet up with him. Worked all the way down to that inn there. And uh, again, I just can't really seem to get anything moving. So I'm gonna chat with him for a bit. We're gonna kind of look over some of the stuff that he's got and just see if I need to switch uh, my tactics here. But um, again, like I keep saying, it's just great to be on the water and it's just fun being out here versus working. Beautiful lake and I love this footpath here that makes it easy to pull all this stuff so I'm not trying to carry it. I normally have like a backpack or something like that, but we're gonna go see if Lee can get us into uh, some fish this morning. All right, guys, this is it. This is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Dundee himself. So, this is Lee, and uh, we are on the water. So um, earlier today, I've been running up and trying to see if I can get a reaction bite on some top water and just wasn't really getting anything. So Lee pulled up and we had a chat talking about uh, changing our strategy a little bit. So we're back on the wall, uh, walked by earlier, that's got all the boats on the side. And uh, this is apparently where the big girls are hanging out. So we're gonna be working the pegs and kind of alternating through and uh, still just trying to see if we can get something moving this morning. But uh, Lee absolutely killed it yesterday. Um, I'll have to put a link in the description there for his channel. Um, but he's got some awesome jacks that came out. Um, what was your big one yesterday? Just, just touching 10 pounds, just in double figures. Oh, it was a um, beautiful fish. Last week there was a pike uh, match on here and the biggest one that came out was just, just about 15 and a half pounds. Wow. But there's been there's been a couple of <laughs> couple of uh, decent girls coming out, but for the lures, I think it's going to be yeah, it's hard. Aiming up to ten pound, I don't think we're going to get anything massive. Right, but it's all good sport, isn't it? That's what it's about. Yeah. So just a reminder for uh, the folks from the U.S. watching, the season closes for the river fishing, the course fishing that we're doing from March. Is it like mid March? Until uh, like March 15th, yeah, until uh, yeah. 15th of June. So that time period, uh, they're going to be bedding uh, and spawning and all that kind of stuff. And then come like uh, end of June, we'll be able to get back at it. And that's typically the best time when you can get these bites on lures. Uh, right now, they're still dead baiting, and that's what Lee had his success with yesterday. So uh, we're going to give it a go and see if we can get some bites. But if not, we might have to trade off and you know do some dead baiting later. But yeah, cause see how it goes and see how the day unfolds. Right. I think ringing the changes with the lures is what's going to be key. Right. So Makes working lures down, different colours, different actions and stuff. It's finding what they're willing to uh, come out and uh, prey upon, really, isn't it? Absolutely. What they're absolutely. willing to hunt. It's just triggering that strike in them, getting them to uh, hit it, really. 
And this is, like I've said before, I love fishing and being able to fish with somebody in a different country, coming out here and kind of learning their techniques and uh, just a whole new uh, species too that I can incorporate. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, we got to keep doing this with the UK versus US. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's awesome going to be thing. good for a series, isn't it? It's definitely going to be something exciting to uh, bring to your channel, as obviously our channel as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, do a little bit more. So I'm already seeing some stuff that's different. He's seeing some of my gear and I was like, what's that? What's going on there? <laughs> yeah. So, It'll be neat, but we'll, we'll try a little bit here on the shore, see if we can't get into them. I'll move this guy around as we go, and I also got GoPro, and he's got his phone. So we got plenty of opportunities to get some good shots, and uh, hopefully here we've got some jacks in our hands, and we're smelling like fish in a couple hours. So. <laughs> yeah, hopefully so, man. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks. Let's get to it. So I put away the top water stuff. Sun's too high right now, and it's just not working. And you can see we're switching off to something a lot beefier, and it's got like a ribbon tail on there. It's got orange or uh, reddish color on there just to kind of attract it. Uh, two trebles, and it's also got some rattle in it too. It's got some ball bearings, but we're gonna be uh, just working that coastline there in between all the boats and just seeing if we can get something to come up out of that brush. Hey, <laughs> tiny little guy. <laughs> Just a quick reaction. I don't even know if I got it. Yeah, I, I got it on film. Tempted to switch it up, but this is the only thing that's gotten a uh, strike so far. So don't want to change that if I've been fishing for a couple hours and nothing. So we'll keep it, but tiny little roach looking guy. Again, paddle tail, a little red fin on there. Come on guys, it's lunchtime. I would have thought you would have had at least like a, a like a two or three pounder, like a, a sort of sort of alright one, but Right, right, just to get something going. Yeah. I don't know, it's really difficult. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm stumped. That's what makes it the challenge. Why well, call it fishing and not catching. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you're not wrong, Kyle. <laughs> So it's noon now and uh, Lee and I are still skunked. He uh, got a couple more bites, but nothing out of the water. So it doesn't quite count. But yeah, I'm hoping this is about the time when he was getting them last time that, uh, you know, we're getting into them now. So I don't know, it's about 12 o'clock. We'll probably give it a couple more hours before we go grab white to eat and then maybe switch up some tactics here. All right, so we packed up, we're at spot number two. We didn't have as much luck at the uh, bank there, just small jacks that were pulling at it. So we're about 15 minutes up the road. And what's this river? Yeah. River Witham. Witham? Witham. Witham, all right, so River Witham. Uh, got some good current, water clarity's good. And uh, we're gonna start off on this bridge here. And then there's a couple disabled pegs as you go down the shoreline. We're gonna give this a go for a little bit and we'll uh, get with you guys if we pick something up. Okay, so after a few strikes, but no uh, hookups really, they were hitting it on the side. I think we got to call the end to part one of this challenge. And uh, so as far as the trophy ceremony, it's going to have to wait until the next time because <laughs> we got a yeah. tie of uh, nil-nil here. Nil-nil. Um, but it was still great. So thanks so much for showing me the waters here. And That's completely my pleasure, out, mate. But... It's been an absolute pleasure to uh, fish alongside you. Uh, it was it's been good. brilliant. And, yeah. Uh, you know what, even though neither of us caught, it was you who kind of showed the way of which way we should have been fishing with the curly tail grubs. Right, yeah, at the very end there, we just yeah. switched and we, we had gone through our entire tackle here, uh, just trying a little bit of everything. So uh, at the end, they were kind of nipping at the tail, but couldn't get anything to take it 100%. Slow retrieve on it, slow retrieve yeah. in the margins where they were obviously taking cover because you can hear as the wind's blowing through and the sun's disappeared, but. right. 
but yeah, as you was doing the slow retrieve, you tw two in a row you, you lost, didn't you? Yeah, I had one that I about Crazy. jumped out of my skin because I'm just kind of <laughs> watching it and uh, crocodile <laughs> came from right up and most of them that we were getting hit were like under 12 inches, but this guy was a little chunkier and I thought it I was going to go is. in after that. They have a uh, rail around the pegs and I'm like, oh, I'll brace <laughs> myself there, but it was good. And lure fishing is just a passion of mine, so I do want to try uh, dead bait, dead stick one day, but... Uh, I think, just being able to do that retrieve. I think if you want to come back in March sometime before the close season, mm. it's dead bait will definitely be the way to go. Okay. I've got the gear. You don't really need to bring anything. I'm yeah, more than happy to supply and... you with what you need and I'll tie up okay. the traces and everything. And it'll just give you an insight and give you a feel and you can yeah. decide for yourself whether you like it or not and then you can yeah go out and try it yourself hey just something different you gotta try exactly, it so. yeah but that's it so thank you so much for watching guys i'm gonna hang up here and then i've got a two and a half hour drive back home so i'm gonna get back home and get ready for work tomorrow that yeah. not looking forward to <laughs> <laughs> rather be back out here again doing it but uh, uh, i'm actually going cart fishing tomorrow oh i'm super jealous <laughs> now he tells me right yeah. at the end there so <laughs> it, it was planned last minute so wow all right well thanks guys we'll catch you on the next one